the head-on collision of two neutron stars, the ultra-dense remains of exploding stars, captured the attention of scientists like nothing they had ever seen before. Gravitational waves from the collision and the ensuing light display excited scientists and sent tremors across Earth as astronomers from all around the globe raced the morning, gathering as much data as they could before the sun rose at their observatories. A real-life scientific drama swiftly developed. Long before gravitational waves were discovered, scientists had dreamt about creating a new kind of astronomy that would use light to reveal previously unknown aspects of the universe. The finding very immediately disproved certain ideas while supporting others. It has implications for the formation of the universe's heaviest components, as well as the genesis of the enigmatic dark energy, which accounts for about 70% of the universe's mass and is responsible for the spectacular but fleeting bursts of high-energy light, known as short gamma-ray bursts. 130 million light-years away from Earth, in the galaxy NGC 4993, two neutron stars collided and produced gravitational waves. These waves stretched and compressed spacetime, moving outward like ripples on a pond, as predicted by Einstein's general theory of relativity. Earth was in the middle of the Cretaceous period, when dinosaurs were enormous and in command, when the waves started their outward voyage 130 million years ago. It would take many millions of years for life capable of creating the sophisticated detectors required to detect the gravitational rumbles to emerge. The Advanced Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, and Virgo immediately began to seek for light in the area of the sky where they thought the waves originated. Astronomers discovered a fresh point of visible light in the sky less than 11 hours after gravitational waves first emerged. Visible, infrared, and ultraviolet light were first seen by telescopes, then X-rays and radio waves a few days later. Every detail was valuable. Rapid fading and gradual color changes were seen in the light. In astronomy, this is a pretty uncommon event. Most things we see don't change at all over time. Observations confirmed a previously anticipated phenomenon, known as a kilonova, that may occur when neutron-rich material is expelled from stars. Kilonovas are expected to be a source of heavy materials, including gold, silver, platinum, and uranium. For the first time, light from the impact directly corroborated this suspicion. The level of observational detail exceeded all previous discoveries in astronomy. The finding was a joint effort involving around 15% of all astronomers. Hundreds of hypotheses that provide alternatives to dark energy, a puzzling aspect of our universe. That is the most popular explanation for why the cosmos is expanding faster and faster, have already been ruled out by this occurrence. A new measurement of the speed at which the cosmos is expanding was also achieved by researchers. This figure may help explain a persistent mystery. The cosmos seems to be expanding at a rate of 73 kilometers per second for each megaparsec, according to observations of supernovas, which is about 3.3 million light years. That is a lot quicker than the cosmic microwave background expansion rate, which has been measured to be 67 kilometers per megaparsec using old light from the early cosmos. According to research published online in Nature, the latest figure, at 70 kilometers per megaparsec, falls exactly between the previous two. It will take capturing more neutron star mergers to break the deadlock. Astrophysicists are certain they will have the opportunity. Additional mergers could potentially provide new information about the characteristics of neutron stars, such as their equation of state, which describes how squishy their incredibly dense stuff is, and determining how often such collisions take place will aid in figuring out if neutron stars can account for the reported abundances of heavy metals in the universe. The neutron star collision has helped gravitational wave researchers maintain their recent success. The discovery of two black holes merging, LIGO's fourth and the first made in collaboration with Virgo, was made only days prior to the observation. In November, news of a fifth black hole merger surfaced. Future plans include for the addition of other gravitational wave detectors, including LIGO India and Kagra in Japan, 
to complete a worldwide network for observing heavenly tremors. The neutron star crash and the fourth black hole collision both occurred in a brief window of less than a month while all three of the gravitational wave detectors were active. That was an incredible piece of luck. To locate the position of a neutron star collision and its light, three detectors are required. It's possible that a magnetor's creation was characterized by a shockingly brilliant cosmic explosion. If confirmed, it would be the first time that astronomers had seen the development of a stellar corpse that was both heavily magnetic and quickly spinning. That brilliant flare of light resulted from the merger of two neutron stars into one enormous entity. The researchers note that although the very brilliant light could indicate the creation of a magnetar, alternative explanations are still conceivable. On May 22, a flash of gamma-ray radiation from the neutron star crash site was discovered by astronomers using NASA's Swift Observatory in Space. Additional X-ray optical and infrared measurements revealed that the gamma rays were accompanied by a distinctive glow known as a kilonova. Two neutron stars, the very dense nuclei of dead stars, are predicted to collide and fuse to generate kilonovas. Around the collision site, the merger sprays neutron-rich material that has not been observed anywhere else in the cosmos. The rapidly decaying, unstable heavy elements produced by that substance heat the neutron cloud and cause it to glow in optical and infrared light. According to astronomers, whenever two neutron stars fuse, kilonovas are created. However, mergers also create other, stronger light that may overpower the kilonova signal. As a consequence, while there are other possible possibilities, astronomers have only ever seen one confirmed kilonova in August 2017. Infrared light had the greatest brightness variation as determined by the Hubble Space Telescope between 3 and 16 days following the gamma-ray burst. The intensity of such light was 10 times greater than that of infrared light from earlier neutron star mergers. The mega-neutron star that is created when two neutron stars combine is often too massive to survive. The star quickly succumbs to strong gravitational pull and becomes a black hole. However, if the supermassive neutron star is a magnetar, that is, it spins quickly and has a strong magnetic field, it may be able to prevent itself from collapsing. The star may be prevented from becoming a black hole by maintaining its own spin as well as releasing energy and subsequently some mass into the nearby neutron-rich cloud, the researchers hypothesize. The cloud would then emit more light as a result of the excess energy producing the additional inferred glow that Hubble saw. However, there are additional possibilities that might apply to the exceptionally intense light. If a black hole was created as a result of the neutron star's meeting, it may have ejected a jet of charged plasma traveling at almost the speed of light. The additional kilonova glow may possibly be explained by the specifics of how the jet interacts with the neutron-rich material around the collision site. That may tell us something about the stability of neutron stars and how massive they can reach if a magnetar was created. Although we are unsure of the maximum mass of neutron stars, we do know that, in the majority of situations, they would combine to form a black hole. If a neutron star did endure, it would provide information on the circumstances necessary for its existence. Never before has a newly formed, highly magnetic, rapidly revolving neutron star been seen. It results from the merging of two neutron stars. It will be possible to determine if a magnetar was born by tracking how the object's light behaves over the course of the following four to six years. Compared to the matter generally found within a neutron star, strontium must have had an extraordinarily low neutron density. Instead of producing light elements like strontium, such a very neutron-rich environment would have produced considerably heavier R-process elements with few neutrons in their nuclei. The neutron star material that produces strontium likely suffered some additional interaction that resulted in the destruction of some of its neutrons, such as being hit by ghostly, subatomic particles called neutrinos produced during the merger. Thanks for watching. Take a look at some of our other videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.